someone is sitting in people pleaser energy. This is someone who has told you some meaningless words. Someone who has empty promises of an overachiever. Yet this energy has given you nothing. I feel this is someone who is pinching pennies, struggling, trying to come up with something, budgeting in some way. But they're coming up short or they're giving it something all the way. Someone is butter, buttering them up. This could be a third party or an outside energy. This is siren energy who is very tempting or gaining attention from this energy. Hmm. But whoever this is, they're buttering them up. They have a lot of charm. And they're luring this energy in. This could be their energy or someone else's. Please take it how it resonates with your message. But this is someone who has some very kinky ways. They like to explore. Always like to fantasize. And they have some very strange fetishes. This is someone who is throwing shade at you. And they're being savage about it because you're not trying to follow their lead or give in to something this is someone who is now questioning everything but still resenting you over or upset with you because they feel you have cock blocked them this is someone who feels like you have interfered with a third party ruthlessly or this energy feels like you're criticizing them when it comes to a situation or their desires. This is someone who feels like they just can't help themselves. They have multiple partners or they have multiple situations that keep them lost or weak. We have booty call energy here where someone is all about sex, all about a good time, all about instant gratification. This is someone who does a lot of things in private that you don't know. Mm. But I feel they're also in their emotions, all in their feelings about what they're chained to. I feel whatever they're chained to is weighing them down. They're trying to tiptoe over something, sneaking around, avoiding getting caught or avoiding a conversation or avoiding a truth. This is someone who is just not keeping it real with you or anyone else. This is someone who is yet to keep it real with anyone because they lack the courage and the depth to do so. This is someone who is coming out as a spiritual narcissist who is still sitting in a space of make-believe and still not being an adult about a situation. This is someone who is trying to make something appear a certain way, but things are not as it seems. This is someone who is altering their appearance or should have coding a truth because they know they shattered your heart or shattered something for the present moment. There's a lot of delays. Someone knows they screwed something up. Mm. This is someone who fears failure and they feel in order to keep from thinking or feeling what they don't want to encounter, they throw things away, they push people away. Mm. But I feel for many of you, this is someone who pushed you to a point where many of you may be, even kicked them to the curb because you feel like you just don't know who they are. There is also something here that you don't know about. This could be related to an innocent energy. Please take it how it resonates, but there could be someone expecting. That is not for everyone. I feel this is someone who just can't keep it real or can't keep their private parts in their pants. This is someone who likes attention in the worst way and they like the instant gratification because it don't take much to get it and they don't have to do a lot to receive it. Yeah, this is someone who likes to numb the pain. This is someone who is always numbing their reality because they're not wanting to deal with it. They're drinking away their problems, distracting themselves with substances and even self-medicating through an over influx of partners or energies that surround them. This is someone who is all talk, someone who does whatever it takes to get what they want. And even if they have to lie to kick it, this is someone who is willing to do anything. And for many of you at this point, you know that to be true. Wow, uh, this knocked up energy here. I'm trying to kind of avoid it, but it came out twice. But someone could be expecting. This is because we're dealing with someone who is completely lawless with their energy. Sorry, not sorry. I want to say this is someone on the verge of seeing the light, but that is completely not the truth. This is someone who is blocking out change, still seeking to be pleased and talking, talking a lot to get what they want. 
talking to someone who is flexing but still struggling in some kind of way. This could be mentally, emotionally, financially. If this is emotionally, this is why they're giving into guilty pleasures. Things that's going to get them caught up in the end. If not already. Yeah, someone is spilling the tea about this energy. I feel this is someone who was easily led by them or hurt by them. This is coming out on the knocked up energy. So there could be someone who is causing them to run or causing them to worry. This is someone or this is a one night stand that is not going away. Something about this is just not going away. This is something It's coming out as sheep energy, a follower. Someone was easily influenced into doing something. This is a people pleaser energy who was struggling financially and gave into someone savagely. Someone's upset because you blocked this energy or you started something and this energy did something in a very savage way. Someone is spilling the tea or spreading some rumors. There's a lot of gossip spreading. Hmm. For some of you, there could also be some health issues. This doesn't have to be a pregnancy. However, for many of you, whatever's taking place, whether it's some type of STD, a pregnancy, or some type of situation, it's about to go down. Someone's about to act ruthlessly or savagely, or something's about to flatline. I feel all the signs are there. There are red flags when it comes to a frenemy or dirt, dirty money. Someone is stealing. Someone is doing something that is out of face or out of place. Two-faced energy where something is hidden when it comes to intention. Someone is laid up with a thirst trap. Someone who's seeking attention and telling them lies. If this is a pregnancy, this baby is not theirs. Even though this energy is moving recklessly or doing things in a very naive way, something is not what it seems. They're getting the red flags, but this is, is coming out as a trauma bond where someone's about to learn some harsh lessons. If this is a female energy, this is a setback where someone is being pitied with them. This is because someone is struggling, but I feel a key player is about to do something in a very extra way. Third party could be a doormat, naive, taken advantage of, down the fuck. But I feel something is losing momentum. Someone's overdoing it when it comes to something. And someone is yet to take the high road. Someone is yet to take the high road because they're swept up in some bullshit where someone is completely salty about playing a game and they're giving zero fucks about a third party or the harm they have caused others. I would like to tell all of you guys this energy is about to get some karma, but, but I don't see it. This is someone who's just moving around recklessly, but I feel in life, you give what you get and you get what you give. This is someone who has cutting remarks. They're expressing their anger through disrespect. They have hurtful words and they're trolling not just this third party, but also you. They're keeping tabs on you. I feel this is someone who watches you because how you got away. Something you did was unintentional, but it affected this energy in the worst way. This is someone who is very bullheaded. Someone who is used to having their way, baiting others in or provoking situations, but with you, this energy feels like something didn't work when it comes to their false or phony persona. Because in so many ways, you you are very difficult to sway. This energy feels like you're stubborn as well. <laughs> they also feel like you're acting brand new. But I feel this is someone who's keeping times, but still not giving a fuck. When it comes to giving you truth, being blunt, honest, or having a deep conversation with you. They're just not being an adult about it. But I feel in due time, they will understand how they screwed up. It's only high vibes when it comes to you, and this energy will be on the rebound. But I feel someone spilling the beans or telling the truth about them is about to put them in a place where they realize they're too old for this. <laughs> Someone's going to realize they're too old for this, breaking hearts, destroying things beyond repair, and living a fantasy, doing things that disappoint everyone around them by throwing away things, rejecting the good advice. Someone just won't catch a lucky break when something go viral. Something is about to go viral when it comes to someone flexing. Someone's about to put them on blast. 
someone's about to be called out and there's a lot of evidence someone's really fed up this is third party energy hands off someone's really upset that something isn't going the distance and someone's very territorial this energy is very rebellious and they're trying to cleanse their energy they're trying to gain some type of closure because they're not getting anything from this party wow hmm. For many of you, you look at this situation and you know for a fact you dodged a bullet. You don't want this person back, but I feel this energy could be thinking about you or wanting to come your way, but still not wanting to give you that truth. They know they owe you. They're still sitting in a space of make-believe. They threw something away with you because they don't know how to deal with the disappointment of their own life. But I feel this third party or key player that's supposed to be a trauma bond is about to be real petty with them. Someone's about to struggle in a big way when it comes to their player ways or their petty ways. This frenemy is about to turn into a true enemy where delays and distractions will be the least of their worries. We're going to get a final card here. Let's get the mood, the energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here for you? <laughs> wow. As I said before, you guys, this is someone who gives zero fucks about anyone. This is someone who is numbing out the pain, playing games, and breaking a lot of hearts along the way. Let's get another deck here. I feel like this is someone who owes you clarity or closure, and they're avoiding the chance to make peace with you, not because you don't deserve it. It's because they're just not deep enough mentally or spiritually to give it to you. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who has just come to terms with who they think they are since they've never been challenged to change. As I said before, this is someone who is just not ready, still dealing with dark energies, playing games, and trauma bonding, and being stubborn. This is someone who has a narrow mind when it comes to the gift of love, respect, and loyalty. I feel many of you were patient hoping to find a deeper understanding of why they choose to be the way that they are, but I feel you're coming up with nothing because they're not clear either on why they have yet to change. This is someone who has no boundaries. They're blocking something or someone out and still not breaking a cycle. For many of you, I feel like you had to find a creative release when it comes to this situation. When it comes to this close bond marriage, I feel you are traditional, the old school, and you've waited long enough. I feel like you've waited long enough hoping they'll change. But this energy only left you behind. Not having a clear state of mind, many of you had to cut someone off, feeling like they never change. This is someone who is still watching and waiting for a chance. In so many ways, this is someone who has let go but still has yet to let go. As it seems they're emotionally confused or unsure about their truth. But I feel in many ways they're sending mixed signals because they don't know how they even feel about self. This is someone who has yet to bring clarity to a twin flame a separation where they feel like they're being scrutinized for taking a risk, being a player, or being difficult, but I feel these highs and lows of unhealthy choices or hiding lies has caused them to discover that they need to compromise, but I feel they're not giving in. This is someone who's just still moving, moving on creating children, planting seeds, and not caring for them. And for some of you, you're just dealing with someone who is just out of sync when it comes to their purpose in their life. Something is still up in the air. I feel like something is still up in the air because someone has yet to heal. And for many of you, that is no surprise to you. I feel it's no surprise to you that this is someone who is yet to heal or find their way. This is someone who's been moving recklessly for some time now when it comes to player ways or instant gratification, getting things the dishonest way. But I feel them overdoing it in certain areas of their life will bring on some harsh consequences, legal issues.
Mm. Wow. This energy is coming out as a dream breaker, heartbreaker. This is someone who has broken a lot of hearts, pretending to be an admirer or someone who is an intense twin flame when truly they're just a lie. Someone who just has a chip on their shoulder. I feel for many of you, this is someone who has given the cold shoulder when it comes to love. They like to chase. They just don't like to stay. I feel like this is someone who can't be tamed. And they like the thrill of the support. The closeness of being wanted, needed, the attention that love gives them, but they don't like the emotional attachment or responsibility of it. This is why they're coming out as a dream killer. Someone who is still dealing with their own addiction, addictions and they're not aligned. Still telling lies, hiding themselves. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone who is coming out as an opposite, not the yin to your yang. Hmm. They're addicted, triggered, and still reckless when it comes to creating a rocky road. This has been a challenging journey for many of you because you have given your heart to someone who is emotionally unavailable. This is someone who only thinks about the looks of things and they're always faking it. Hmm. This is someone who cares about the illusion. The illusion of their toxic ways, but I feel there will be an awakening Wow. I feel there will be an awakening to what they're unable to get away from, but I feel there won't be an awakening to ascension. Hmm. For some of you, there will be some that, oh, wow, a very small few that survives this task, this test. But for many of you, someone is chained to the weaknesses of gratification and playing games with those who are emotionally available or hmm, walks in the light. Wow. For many of you, this is someone who is not in the present but still in an illusion when it comes to revenge or savage ways. Their anger and resentment has put them under pressure when it comes to fulfilling their needs the easy way. This is why they're coming out as faking it, not being true to self. This is someone who depends on the endless supply of empty connections that require them to give nothing when they take everything. This is why someone is sitting in a false illusion and pulling the heartstrings of others and breaking so many hearts. Breaking hearts, pretending to be a friend. When this is someone who just can't get themselves together when it comes to true, true contact and affairs of the heart. Someone needs to heal. Because all they seem to think about is sex. This is someone who gets instant gratification and, and, and attention from the affection of others. I feel like there's a, a lot of partners here. This is someone who has a lot of partners. They've fallen deep into a very sad place where they don't feel want it if they don't give in to all of this mind play all of these games all of these sexual desires that leave them nowhere but i feel that if any lesson is learned they'll soon realize their pleasures have only brought them pain this is someone who is never satisfied as they are always seeking their next supply or conquest when they should be trying to save themselves this is someone who should be trying to save self and deal with the karma that is awaiting them. Because walking away from their issues and even you only put them in a position of learning things the hard way. I feel like this is someone who is learning things the hard way when it comes to affairs of the heart or protecting their own. Which holds a very heavy price that needs to be paid. I feel this is someone who caused something to become a great challenge when it comes to facing obstacles. And, and there's a lot to overcome when it comes to this energy. Many of you are healing in the best way that you can. But in so many ways, I don't 
really think you understand how you have done the impossible. I feel you need more than a pat on your back. Whatever you have done to overcome this situation was definitely necessary. As it seems, this energy that you have left behind or pushed away is now forbidden. I feel like this is someone who is no longer having access to you because of their reckless ways. They're no longer in the present energy of you. They're no longer in the present moment where many of you are not broken yet peaceful from what is no longer chained to you. Since many of you have already been awakened to the truth of this energy and the fact that they are completely toxic, many of you know they're not ready for you. They were never ready for the love, the help, and attention that you offered. As this is someone who is only used to having their way and giving nothing in return. However, in so many ways, this energy, it's almost like you made a player fall in love because they do think about reaching out and sending you love. They just don't know how to rectify what is broken. Like I said before, they were never challenged to do so ever before. But I feel they've never had to deal with someone like you. Someone who is simply toxic on how to deal with love and how they deal with sex and their false beliefs have definitely led them to a very toxic space in life where some things just can't be undone. This energy is closed off, guarded when it comes to affairs of the heart. And now they're giving like stalker vibes. This is someone who knows they screw something up or want you back, but they, they don't know how to admit it. They're too caught up in their pride. They're too caught up in their pride to even find the light. Someone is still trying to pretend like they're too cool for you. I feel like this is someone who is always ready to play the game, but upset when they lose the game. As this is someone who is still looking past you and heavily tied to community ties, third parties. As I said before, you guys, this is someone who is heavily dependent on their community ties, resources, and supply, third parties. This is someone who is still not reading between the lines when it comes to being fake, putting on a show, not leveling up. This is someone who is still trying to fit in when it comes to influences and addictions. This is someone who is also throwing shade at you because they have yet to analyze or realize they have shut the wrong people out. Someone has yet to realize they're playing a losing game. Someone is playing a losing game when it comes to community ties, third parties, and a false persona as someone is needing to cleanse their energy the same way that you have. Hmm. Many of you have cleansed your energy in an effort to escape the madness, escape the mess, while someone else is still numbing the pain of the world. This is someone who is guarded and numbing the pain of the world by giving into sexual weaknesses. This is someone who is doing a lot of things and still getting nothing out of it. Someone's still going deeper down the rabbit hole. I feel this is someone who went solo, pretending to be happy. happy. Someone is open 24 seven. This is someone who is open 24 seven because they're still trying to fill a need that cannot be fulfilled. Still not reading between the lines. Someone is still looking past you. Looking past you, playing this hot and cold game, numbing out the pain, guarded heart of someone who is wanting to send you love, but still guarded, protecting, protecting the little heart they got left. Because trust me, you gotta be a cold motherfucker to act like this. This is someone who has left a lot of people behind. And for some of you, they have kids that you don't know about. Well, that is not for everyone. This is someone who has some messy behaviors. And that's putting it lightly. 
This is someone who's numbing out the world because they know they have done some very destructive things to people and things that they cannot undo. The chemistry is different when it comes to this energy. And I feel like it was rare when they found you. This is someone who's been foolish for a very long time. And I feel you were their way out. You were the blessing. But I feel rejecting the blessing with you was the last truth. This is why I say many won't survive this. Their last chance, their last straw has already been given. There's a lot of broken promises where someone is in rare form when it comes to escaping the truth and not analyzing their behavior. Someone is just lost. Lost when it comes to transformation. Someone loves the instant gratification. I'd be a liar if I tell you this is someone who is over it right at this point because they're really loving the chase. So I do feel there are times, there are moments where this energy seeks into a space where they're thinking about their choices and the people they hurt. There are a few people that they know never deserved the energy they gave, but the fact that they're always numbing the pain and keeping a guarded heart is the reason they have yet to change. This is someone who is yet to change when it comes to seeking forgiveness. For many of you, you are empath energy and you know this is someone who is still not trying. If this is how you're feeling, you're completely right. This is someone who wants more from you, but has nothing to give in return. Nothing compares to the love that you gave this energy. And even if you pray for them, sometimes someone's, some of these energies just have to go through it to get through it. And some never truly get through it. However, I do feel something about their energy is on a swivel, but something is still not kicking in. They're guarded, heavily guarded, and this energy's walls are high and heavily barricaded. Someone is just not willing to let anyone in because they don't like feeling attacked, but they are in their head, but they're blinded by confusion still not understanding that they have lost direction in karmic cycles, patterns that they're repeating over and over again where there is no satisfaction, but they're blocking it out, still not speaking a truth when it comes to hidden dangers. They're laughing it off, thinking something is just a game. But I feel they, aren't, they have a burning desire to be different, do better, be better, but they're still playing it cool, giving in to what they feel they need and what they feel they want. And that's karmic energies. Those who are equally low vibrational when it comes to dark intentions. This is someone who is still stuck in the past or still stuck to the person that they used to be where they felt their best or they felt their strongest. But someone is losing grip with reality. This is someone who is hiding in the shadows when it comes to a fantasy or an illusion. But they're still obsessed with these casual flings having their cake and eating it too. This is someone who loves their options. They love having options, but I feel with you, it's almost like they feel like something is missing. What was gained with you can't be gained anywhere else. One more card here for this second. We're going to move on. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So as I said before, you guys, it's someone who is still blocking things out, still trying not to change, still not wanting to surrender or release their old ways. They're so attached to these community ties. They feel like it's just who they are. Hmm. What makes them a woman? What makes them a man? Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who feels like their choices and behaviors make them whole. And this is why they're less likely, less likely to change. Let's get some energy here, a couple cards from this thing. 
Uh, deep down, this energy feels unloved, and this is why they have yet to make a move or level up. This is coming out as masculine energy. This doesn't have to be a male. This could be male or female. Please take it how it resonates, but this is someone who is sitting in aggressive energy, where they're aggressive when it comes to what they want and what they don't want to release. This is someone who doesn't want to move on. They don't like their current circumstances, but when have they ever been satisfied? This is someone who doesn't know how it feels to be complete. So how can they ever miss it? This is someone who doesn't want to change. And this is why they're still holding on to you. They feel like eventually you'll come around. You gave them a warning or a final chance and they blew it and they just feel like something is going to take place out of the blue and you're going to reconsider this is someone who feels like they all come back but I feel they need to second guess themselves when it comes to you because I feel you're about keeping your peace I feel this is someone who wants you to reconsider they want to come back but I feel many of you would rather they keep out this is someone who's still playing a game when it comes to being one-sided. There's a lot of mis messy situations where the tables are turning when it comes to their mental health. This could also be physical health. Please take it how it resonates with your message. But this is someone who is ignoring the signs when it comes to their health, their mental wealth. Still making bad choices. There's a lot of intense emotions that's connected to their petty ways. This is someone who is yet to find their purpose because they're too stubborn to see a truth. This is why they're all over the place. Distracted and destructive. This is someone who is distracted and destructive when it comes to late nights and getting to the bag. They're disconnected when it comes to responsibilities. And for many people, they're waiting for you. Someone's waiting on you. They feel like you owe them an apology. This is someone who feels like you owe them more than they owe you, but this is someone who is in some type of delusion because you owe them nothing. This is why many of you are moving in silence because you know they are unhealthy when it comes to what you want and what they want. Things just don't add up. Because this is someone who is just stuck to their old ways. However, they're about to get a taste of their own medicine. Someone's about to get a taste of their own medicine. And the fact that things are not adding up, many of you have already taken the exit. Many of you have already gotten out of something. Possibly loving this energy from a distance. Because you know they can do better. They're just not sitting in a healthy space mentally to be better. So to keep the peace, you are at a distance, possibly cutting your losses and others loving them from a distance while others are just in a space where you're not willing to be burnt out by someone who doesn't know their truth. This is someone who is all over the place, and even though they're holding on to you, this is someone who is still not feeling loved. I feel this is someone who still doesn't feel loved because they really don't know what that is or how to give. They're not just blocking you out. They're blocking out feelings and emotions that they don't understand. This is why things are not adding up. This is why many of you have disconnected and are moving in silence from this unhealthy attachment, trying to heal from what has been dished out. Mm. You're no longer wanting to be burnt out. This is someone who is hot and cold when it comes to what they want and what they need in life. But I feel the fact that something is never adding up is the reason why they're never leveling up or ever receiving the energy they desire or truly need to be the outstanding energy they should be. Final deck here. This 
this is someone who could have been so much more than they are. But since they don't understand the gifts that they possess, they have been stripped of their gifts in positive light where what is given is what is now being received. I feel like in due time, someone will get sick and tired of the spotlight, the audience, of being self-absorbed or being childish. I feel sooner than later, they'll make a decision or realize a decision needs to be made because it'll be over it. They can't continue this way, even though they believe that they can, they can't. Because the things that they choose to do are unhealthy and things will never add up as long as they come from this space of playing the victim or playing these mind games. This is someone who feels like they can just pop up, but something has just gone too deep. Something hurts. These secrets, these lies, these broken promises of half-truths that always equal a lie. This is someone who has it to reconcile because they're still living a double life. This is someone who is still living a double life. There's unfinished business and someone knows that they are caught up. This is why many of you just got fed up, cut the ties, walked away and jumped the deuce. Many of you had to let go of someone who had already let go of you. There was too much controversy. Too many things going on in this situation where there is a lot of addictions, toxic people, just the wrong crowd. I feel like this is someone who continues to be lost because of the people they surround themselves with, people who co-sign their energy and play their mind game. I feel this is a test they completely failed and this is why many of you have blocked them and there's just no contact. For some of you, you didn't block them. This is someone who just pushed you away and the distance created the silence and the silence just became final. For many of you, you tried your best. Now you're just wanting this energy to try to do the rest, but I feel this energy has come up short by creating a toxic connection, toxic love, through a love-hate scenario within a relationship where there is no resolution within a conflict, someone has egg on their face, someone is ashamed that they got caught up because there's an inferno of chaos. Someone's also having some difficulty at their jobs. Everything is crumbling. So I definitely feel the more things crumble in their life, the more they lash out, rebel, and give in to things that make them more resistant to change. But I feel them being more resistant to change will only create a more guilty conscience. Someone's not feeling that regret, that shame, that energy yet, but they will. And at that point, it just might be too late. Many of you may see this energy as someone who just can't get it right, but I feel there will be karma for someone who has put a spiritual attack on others. There will be karma of legal issues, of lessons, of unusual changes. This is someone who's going to get their, their cut of what is given, but I feel for now, they're still lost in some very scandalous and petty ways. For many of you, you think that this energy will never come to grips with their karma or their consequences. But trust me, once they do, things will never be the same. Because the shame and the regret that they once wanted for you is now their fate. I sense you regret nothing you had to do because you hold no spite. Yeah, I sense you, you just want your own peace, your own happiness, whether it's with or without this energy. Someone's going to have to learn that truth without you. Mm. I feel many of you simply have to let go of those who already let go of you. Because this energy in so many ways, they were already gone. 